Well, it's a very warm, really a warm symphony, a really uh, fantastically involving uh, symphony, not a chord piece at all. Um, in that sense, it's very, quite similar to Tchaikovsky in some ways. Um, and the exciting thing with that is that it's always going for new sounds and new worlds, um, different landscapes, different emotions. Uh, and so it's, you know, it's a short piece of music with, you know, um, a lot of different things happening. It's, it's um, fascinating in this sense. And actually, because it's short, it's very simple in many ways. I mean, the last movement, it's a very simple statement, very simple idea that is very direct. Um, so there's a very direct communication between the composer and the audience. And I think that you can feel that kind of character that Sibelius has goes through in this piece very, very strongly. Well, first it interested me to have French music um, side by side with um, Sibelius's music because, of course, very, very different. But uh, the one thing that's similar is that it's not German music. Um, and you can sense that in both worlds. Um, and Berlioz pursued things, really influenced French music for the next 200 years, really, 150 years till now, really. The Death of Cleopatra is a really rare piece to hear in concert, so that's a fantastic thing to hear. It's an amazing solo part for voice and um, hugely virtuosic and kind of uh, over the top. When a modern piece is being played, like Julian Anderson piece that we are playing, um, especially Julian, who knows, you know, the whole repertoire from 16th century on, and um, there's always a dialogue in this kind of, as if he's talking to an older generation about the options of what you could do with music, with structure, with, with tuning system, for example, in this piece where the tuning is completely, um, you know, there's two tuning systems on top of each other. Um, and so that's just one step further from breaking down tonality like in Wagner, but uh, I mean, I like very much this idea that a concert hall can kind of sort of connect between, uh, it's like time travel, you really connect between people that would never otherwise meet. Uh, so that's an interesting thing. Um, if an audience can follow that, you can really enjoy that, I think.